Hey, 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 it's 901. You know what that means. It's time for some Love and Marriage Huntsville News, T, Intel, whatever you want to call it. It is 901. Welcome in, everybody, to another edition of Brain Lee's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. Everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. So listen. Y'all, the conversation with Melody and Kiki, let's get into it. So, as you guys know, Tiffany, uh, you know, talked with Melody um, in the season premiere about Kiki and Crime Stoppers. It seems like Kiki and Crime Stoppers is going to be a storyline this season, but, of course, that storyline is in the... Um, is in the holder's responsibility to distribute that out how they want to, but that doesn't mean it's right. So, you know, Tiffany was asking Melody in the last episode, you know, with Kiki being able to, or not being able to, but with Kiki having done what she's done, you know, for your brand. I know you don't like hanging around anybody that damages your brand. What are you going to do? I said, Tiffany, check your own energy. Don't use somebody else as a um, lie detector to see if you need to do the thing that you say you want to do right because last time I checked in the last episode you you said I don't know if I want to be her friend or not Tiffany I think you have a disposition about Kiki and you just need to be honest about it but that's neither here nor there so you know Kiki got accused from Tiffany of stealing you know Tiffany said I think Kiki um, stole she accused her and so, you know, Kiki thought that her and Tiffany have moved on, but is not surprised. But when she is vindicated, she expects the haters and dyers to bow down and make up for it. Kiki, listen, there are some apologies you are never going to get. That second chance that you feel like you deserve will be non-existent. But I will say this to you, Kiki, the blessing of still being here is that you always have a new chance. And you always have a new way to go about things differently than, than you did before. So that's what I would say to Kiki on that. Um, because Kiki has lawyers now about the whole Home Depot situation, she cannot talk about it. And she's not worried because she knows the details. Now, listen, at the end of the day, for us consumers, we knew about the story this past summer. For the viewers, this is your first time seeing this information, so I know it's shocking to you all. Like, wait, what? What's going on? So, so yeah, allegedly Kiki stole some things from the Home Depot, right? So, with this episode, you know, it doesn't really get into specifics much um, about what's going on because Kiki can't get into what is going on but she's not worried because she knows the details and so Melody did ask so it was you in the video Kiki cannot confirm or deny that if that it was her rather and all I gotta say is this people on the outside looking in are looking at Kiki like okay that is Kiki but of course too we didn't see the whole video we just saw a you know video slide a still image or picture of somebody there. Now, people say Kiki, people say it's not. Y'all let the facts come out and innocent until proven guilty. So, you know, Kiki, you know, has said that she has not relapsed because people have been saying that she's been on drugs and, you know, other things. And so Melody says that she will be here for support if she needs it, which is very nice. On this show that is filled with drama, toxicity, and everything in between, that Melody can be a voice of reason. And so when it came to, you know, Kiki getting calls, Melody was the first one to call, but Tisha was the last person to call. And so Kiki was like, where does that leave us as cousins if you can't be the first one to call me? Well, don't do something. But Melody brought up something that was important. She said to Kiki that when... Tisha and Marceau would go through the fucking one. Did you call in on them? And Kiki said no. So Melody said that both of you are on a journey to get back that sisterhood, that cousinhood, that friendship, where it's not going to be that easy of a bond to create again because there was so much that happened. But that doesn't mean a bond cannot be created. 
And I thought that was very sensible advice from Randy Sheen because at the end of the day, time and space does heal all wounds. Um, some it heals more than others. Others want to be constantly in pain. Take that for what you will. But I, I do agree that at the end of the day, it should be a celebration of you birthing something amazing um, into the world. And when I say that everybody should be happy for Kiki, I really do mean that. Um, I feel that Kiki, you know, for her saying, I think she's been putting it. 20 something or two years and however many years she said people get so caught up in the demise of a person that they forget to come to the rise of a person as well so I totally understood um, you know Melody's point of recognizing that both of you are in different spaces right now and don't hold Tisha to account so much when you're not giving and I think as much as we can celebrate each other as human beings, we should also be able to call people out when they have done wrong, but also to support people when they have wrong done to them when they're going through something tough. Because we're all going through something. You know what I mean? So, uh, let me see if anything else. Da, 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 da. And Melody did say that when it comes to breakery, bro, brokering peace, that she wants it because she wants families to win. She doesn't like families breaking up. And listen, I've come to realize just because you are a peacemaker doesn't mean you're going to make peace with everybody. But do not let those circumstances allow you to change who you are. And so, you know, <sighs> Tiffany invites Kiki to the baby reveal party. And... You know, Kiki is very excited. She is very excited because it would just be good for, you know, Kiki to be able to have some girl time with everybody. And so Melody is glad that Kiki is doing good. Now, honestly, I could tell that Kiki and Melody are real friends, right? Like, and that's the thing that I do see with Melody from what I've seen, right? Because we don't know her personally, okay? But from what I've seen, she does not care if you have a G-Wagon or if you have a, you know, Nissan Rogue. As long as you are happy, you are good people, that is how she is. Because she understands that all these things are material possessions. And, you know, to use some words from Life Jennings, when the rim stops spitting, all those gold digging women disappear, she will still be here. And I think that's very important to figure out what is your, she will still be here energy. Is it your family? Is it your friends? Is it your coworkers? Is it, you know, a car that you have that, you know, needs to be turned in, but you don't want to let go because the memories, trust me, I think the reason why we don't ever move on to new and better things is because we're holding on to things of the past. And trust me, I get it. It's a mental security blanket. You do not want to let that go for not a doggone thing. However, in the same token, if you hold on to what is old, nothing new can come in. I'm going to say that again. If you hold on to what is old, nothing new can come in. And I truly do think about this when it comes to, you know, all the hurricanes and earthquakes that we have had over the recent years and even the oddings as well what a stance to be in something to recognize okay either I can rebuild or I can be done and most people who rebuild usually have a grit and a toughness that most others don't have because you know winners do what losers won't do that's a very cliche phrase but it's very true and that's why I feel like with you know Kiki she is recognizing that you know what at the end of the day I don't have to win everything but I'm going to win at what matters in my life and you know with Melody I can tell that you know it's about being good people it's about being good people receiving goodness and making sure that what you're doing is a reflection of who you are and not a portrayal of who you want to be just to get subscribers or just being 
in a portrayal of just anything or anything to get an audience for any type of product or service. Because like I said, at the end of the day, if you are good people, you are good people. So that is it for me. That's it for this edition of Brainly's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. One love, much love, all love. Bye, yeah, 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 yeah,